I would like to echo uh, what Matt just said. Uh, this is, I've never worked on an issue where so frequently while doing it, I just had chills go up my spine because of what I was seeing happening. I never thought in my own country that freedom of speech would be threatened in this way. And it's just frightening when you get into it. Um, the most recent, uh, our, our most recent discoveries, I mean, I think you understand the process is that we first raised a bunch of concerns around the way Twitter pre Elon Musk was uh, censoring people and creating blacklists. Very quickly, we discovered that we had FBI agents uh, basically, and, and go other government officials, you know, demanding that Twitter take certain actions. We now know that the Department of Homeland Services, uh, which has uh, had, what's that? Security. Security, sorry, the Department of Homeland Security, uh, you know, had, had to try, try to create a disinformation board. Uh, that went away after public backlash, but we now realize that they have this other enterprise and they've been building out basically mechanisms to proliferate a censorship industrial complex around the country to censor on a whole range of issues. And so you've seen them, you've seen this, censorship industry go from, well, we're just fighting ISIS to, well, we're just fighting Russian disinformation bots to, well, now we need to fight domestic misinformation, which is just saying we need to fight against people who are saying things we disagree with online. That's all that means. And I, I mean, it's not a slippery slope. It's an immediate leap into a, a terrifying mechanism that I, we only see in totalitarian societies of attempting to gain control over what the social media platforms are, allow, are allowing. And so, um, yeah, for me, it's just, it starts at DHS, but we basically see um, almost every government agency involved in this.